From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is a Thunder update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Thunder beat writer Eric Horn. Eric, it's official. The season has started, or at least it has in terms of practice, media day. It's here. No games just yet, but media day on Monday. Practice begins in earnest Tuesday. Uh, media day is fresh on our minds, Eric. We got a chance to uh, see some old faces, see some new faces, and one of the most anticipated new faces is that of Dennis Schroeder, the Atlanta uh, Hawks point guard that now is with the Thunder. What, what, what were your impressions of him on Monday? No, he seems like he's a guy who's ready for this change. Um, this was a noticeably more low-key media day than we had last year, uh, partly because Schroeder's basically been indoctrinated in the Thunder for about a month now, mm -hmm. whereas Carmelo Anthony got dropped into the Thunder two days before training camp last year. And that's not any fault of Anthony's, but this just seems like a more together and more cohesive kind of just rollover uh, kind of uh, media day for the Thunder going into this one. And I think Schroeder was a part of it, even though he was new. Mm -hmm. He seemed like a guy who was comfortable. Uh, you know, he made some aesthetic changes. He shaved his head. He's a guy who's been known for having like the gold streak in his hair throughout his career. But aside from that, you know, he said the right things. He said the things that, you know, are typical of a guy that are coming to media day. He's excited for the challenge ahead. And I think he can be a good player for the Thunder, not just because he's obviously a starting point guard in the league, but he's coming into a situation where he's going to get a lot of repetitions in preseason because Russell Westbrook is still out uh, recovering from arthroscopic knee surgery. So I think it's a good situation for Schroeder to start in. Yeah. And I think that this is an opportunity for him to get back to being, you know, a player that's really in the forefront of people's minds because he kind of got buried in Atlanta the last two seasons as the Hawks struggled and were basically tanking for draft position. So he's shaved the hair. He looks vastly different. Yes. He's without the hair, but he does have an umlaut on the back of his jersey. I believe the first Thunder player to ever have an umlaut on his jersey. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. Uh, but aside from those two things, what were some other takeaways that you had from Thunder Media Day? Um, just, you know, Andre Robertson is obviously an important piece for the Thunder this season. Uh, this is a guy that, you know, it's crazy to think about, but when he puts it in the words he did, he's almost a year removed from playing basketball. He, the last time he played was January 27th. So, you know, just seeing him talk about his recovery process, he's going to be non-contact to start preseason. He said contact is coming soon. There's not a timetable on that. The Thunder never puts timetables on guys coming back from injury because they don't want to rush them. Uh, you know, that was, that was said throughout the, the, the media day. Russell Westbrook saying we're not going to rush this guy back, need him back at full strength. Uh, Robertson says he hopes to be full string sometime, you know, later on in the season. Uh, it, uh, Presti said last week that, you know, the Thunder would like to have him back earlier in the season or they were thinking they would give him back earlier in the season, as with Russell Westbrook. But there's a difference between having a guy back and having him at his peak. Andre Robertson is probably not going to be at his peak when he comes back. The guy wasn't at his peak last year when he came back from PRP from a PRP injection in the summer. It took him about 10 games to get right. You'd expect it to take even more than that for him to get right whenever he comes back because he's coming back from such a devastating injury. I'll say this, one of my impressions was that several of the guys seem to be on the Kevin Love plan, if you will. The slim down, sort of, uh, I thought Paul George looked different. I thought uh, Patrick Patterson looked like he's been sort of uh, evolving uh, physically in some way. I, I mean, some guys just look different. Of course, some guys, I mean, Steven Adams still looks big and burly and bad, <laughs> you know? But but there there have been some guys that clearly are changing the way they look, and, and I'm, I'm assuming they hope the way that they play. Yeah, and, you know, I talked to Patrick Patterson about that a little, and he actually said he gained weight over the summer. It's just sometimes these guys distribute their weight differently. Right. You know, Steven Adams, uh, two summers ago, he made a point to, to get stronger uh, in his upper body because he noticed the changes that happened during the season. He tends to lose some of that upper body weight. Uh, so he made a point in the summer to put on weight uh, in his upper body. You know, Patrick Patterson's a guy who said who said he changed the way he's eaten in the past month or so. So those changes are, you're going to see from guys to begin preseason typically. Uh, and look, these guys look great right now. They look like they're ready and they're motivated. Patrick Patterson's a guy who has an opportunity to start this year with Carmelo Anthony being in Houston. So he's a guy who obviously said he wants to start, but you know, a guy like Jeremy Grant wants to start as well. But ultimately, those, those guys really don't care about the starting positions, uh, even though they say they do, because it's just more about the minutes distribution and being able to play well when they're on the court. Patterson's healthy. He's in good shape. 
he looks like a guy who could be ready to break out for the Thunder in his second year with the team. All right, lots of uh, Thunder to come in the, the coming days. Eric will be out at practice providing all sorts of insights, information, stories. And then next Wednesday, October 3rd, that's the preseason opener at the peak against uh, against Pistons. the Pistons, and it'll be here before you know it. Then the games for real will start right after that. So be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com every day in the Oklahoma.